Hello everybody, it's Martin here, and today's review is on the best skins ever for the iPod Touch 2G and 3G. Now, I know this review has been done before, but I just thought I'd share my thoughts on it, just in case anybody cared, I guess. But anyways, this review is on the best skins ever, um, check them out, bestskinsever.com, and this, what the best skins ever are, are basically a clear shield and a clear screen protector for your device. Now, unlike, I have a power support on here, I didn't install the front of this, but the main thing is actually the back, to me at least. And my power support was on so well that I didn't want to mess with it, so that's why I just left it. And I really like power support, anti-glare. Anyways, off topic, back to the best skins ever. What it is, it's a clear protector, it's a clear film that wraps around the entire body of the iPod, protecting it from scratches. Now, I talked to some of the best skins ever representatives, um, and I asked um, if their stuff is any different from the invisible shield and the bodyguards. Excuse me. Um, the invisible shield and the bodyguards and they say it's basically the exact same thing now if you go and look on Amazon or go to their websites invisible shield or Bodyguards if you look at their pricing for a set you're looking at around 15 to 20 dollars 20 dollars now How much does the whole the front and back shield of the best skins ever cost? I Think it's seven ninety nine two dollar shipping ten bucks. That's half the price now, how do they make it cheaper? They don't include the fancy packaging of the invisible shield or the bodyguards, the nice box and the spray thing. I mean, that's all unnecessary. What they just say is you should get a small Tupperware, a small little bowl, and fill it with warm um, water. Fill it with warm water and add some soap to it, some hand soap or some mild, um, some, some mild soap, just like a drop or two into that. I guess that gives it like the right feel. And what you do is you, this is how it comes in the um, in the packaging. Be careful not to show you my address. And on the back here, um, the, it says here, minimal packaging is good for the environment. Please recycle what little is left over. So I think it's good that like, they don't need to send it in a huge box because then you have the parcel too. It's just simple envelope and that's how it comes. Now, the order form here. Notice to hide it, and this is how it comes. It comes with the front shield, as you can see here, and they even have a cover for the home button. I never really installed that. I had this for my iPhone 3G as well, and I just never installed that because I just thought it was unnecessary. And the back piece, as you can see here, now it's contoured here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's contoured here for the corners, so it can wrap around nicely. So as you can see here, if you look at the corners, I don't know. Please focus. I don't have the best camera. Yeah, I think you can see that. It like wraps around and it has these cutouts so it can wrap around the most available corner. You, keep in mind, your entire corner is not um, completely protected. You do have some chrome exposed here and like there's the, this top rim lip of chrome and that's exposed all around, including the top of the dock connector port. I don't think, I don't know if this video is going to turn out good. Um, I'm trying the other camera again. And the area here up top is also exposed and top of the sleep awake button. But aside from that, your whole back is covered. Now, if you can, see, as you can see here, um, in the light, my iPod looks awful. And it does have, it's not very scratched, but it is, it has a couple of swirl marks and scratches on the back. It looks a lot worse than it is. It's still very reflective, as you can see here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, so um, it's it's very clear, and if it's not in direct light like it is now, it actually looks pristine. But I mean, my iPod's a little bit scratched. I mean, what are you gonna do? You know? Um, obviously, all your ports easily accessible, and it's basically it makes it look like from far away, like your iPod's naked. And that's what I actually really like about this. Now, a couple things worth noting is that. Um, this is a little bit daunting to install, I have to admit, especially getting the corners to lay. You're sitting here, this is dipped in that soap liquid that I was talking about, and it's literally dripping wet, and you lay it on your iPod and start squeegeeing the water out, and it's dripping all over the place, and it's, 
it's a kind of a daunting task and if you're really not that confident about it i honestly would say have someone else do it for you sometimes you can like go to the mall and get the people at the cell phone booths to install this for you it is fairly tricky um as for me i i actually get this here's a little mini story i was installing this and I, uh, what i did was um i'm a huge it's me morpheus fan he said that if you put in a pixel skin right um the corners will lay better so everything's done i put it on and I just let it sit there for a couple hours and of course being very excited and not able to function without this with my iPod um, I go back and oh, unlock it and I turn it back on I mean unlock it and all of a sudden my device starts turning on and off and on and off and on and off Turns out I got a little bit of liquid inside The sleep awake button it must have like trickled in or something So what was happening was this was turning itself on and off on and off on and off because it was like short-circuiting it or something like that. So, so I was terrified. I was like, oh my God, this is awful. I, it's water damage. But what I did was I put it by the heater and it dried it out. And now everything works fine, which is great. I don't know. That was just a little mini story that I had to throw in there. But it is a little bit tricky to install. But I think that... The average person can do it. You just need to be confident in what you're doing. And what I did was I installed it inside my bathroom um, after I took a shower, warm shower. The whole place was foggy, so all the pieces of dust, they get really heavy and they just, they're not flying around all over the place. So it makes the dust issue a lot better. Anyways, these retail for $7.99 on BeskinsEver.com and $2 shipping and their shipping is very fast, two or three days, and it was here. And I could definitely recommend it if you want a solution that is a clear, a clear, um, a clear protection for your iPod, where you really like that natural feel of your iPod. And this is basically like, it looks, it just feels exactly like there's nothing on the iPod at all. The texture is a little bit different. And it's very tough. They say, get this, Invisible, Invisible Shield says that this is the same stuff they put on the edge of helicopter blades. How cool is that? I don't know if that's true, but I mean, I could see this working. Um, so yeah, Beskins Ever. It's a cheaper version of the Invisible Shield and the Bodyguards. I suggest you check them out. They have some great products. They're great prices, and they also wrap all types of phones, Blackberries, Palm Pre, even laptops, MacBooks, digital SLRs. They have lots of cool stuff there. Check them out, bestskinsever.com. This is Martin. I'm signing out.